My last name is Lee, Bruce Lee. I was born in San Francisco in 1940. I'm 24 right now. When Bruce arrived uh, in the United States, uh, he had the training in Wu style Tai Chi, which sometimes in Hong Kong they call it Unga. And he had the course training uh, in Western boxing. He had uh, training in, in fencing from his brother. Uh, that's uh, Epe, that goes from toe to head. Uh, he had training, obviously, in Wing Chun. And the other area was the, the training he had received in, uh, they call it Buck Pie, or it's a Tom Toy. He used 12 sets in Tom Toy. And then uh, I believe he traded with a Choi Lee Fat Man. So those were the arts that Bruce uh, brought into the United uh, States. As a martial artist, as a human being, all these I have learned from martial art. Maybe for our audience who doesn't know what it means, you might explain exactly right. what you mean right. by martial art. Listen, you see, really, to me, okay, to me, ultimately, martial art means honestly expressing yourself. Now, it is very difficult to do. I mean, it is, it is easy for me to put on a show and be cocky yeah. and be flooded with a cocky feeling and then yeah. feel like pretty cool and all that. Or I can f make all kinds of phony things, you see what I mean? Blinded by it. Or I can show you some f really fancy movement. But to express oneself honestly, not lying to oneself, and to express myself honestly, you know, that, my friend, is <laughs> very hard to do. And you have to train. You have to keep your reflexes so that when you want it, it's there. When you want to move, you're moving. And when you move, you are determined to move. Not taking one inch, not anything less than that. If I want to punch, I'm going to do it, man. And I'm going to do it, you see. So, I mean, so that is the type of thing you have to train yourself into it. To become one with the... You think? Having no limitation as a limitation, the philosophy behind that is that if you are trained in a particular martial art, which, which is called this, a, a Japanese style, they might see something uh, in another style that they like, let's say another Chinese style. But because of the, uh, the curriculum, they stay within the boundaries, so therefore it limits what he can use. As having no limitation is your limit. He's using no limit. The boundaries within the Western boxing, let's say that's a boundary because you're boxing, you're strictly using your, your, your hands. You, you're not really using your knees, you're not using your elbows, so it is limited. Uh, wrestling, for the most part, unless it's a, uh, professional wrestling, you're not allowed to use the elbow, a bite, and gouge. So you're limited because that gives you a, a kind of a, a structure to work with. Uh, judo is very, very good art. They, they throw well, they choke well, they strangle well, they arm bar, they leg bar but there is no punching, so that's limit. So he's trying to say, using no limitation, as styles do limit, to a certain degree. I mean, I might, it, it might sound too philosophical, but it's an acting, acting, or acting, and acting, if you will. You've lost me. <laughs> <laughs> I have, right? So what I'm saying, actually, you see, I mean, it's a combination of both. I mean, here it is, the natural instinct, and here is control. You are to combine the two in harmony, not, if you have one to the extreme, you will be very unscientific. If you have another to the extreme, you become all of a sudden a mechanical man, no longer a human being. So you, it is a successful combination of both. So therefore, it is not only, I mean, so therefore it's not pure naturalness or unnaturalness. The ideal is unnatural naturalness or natural unnaturalness. <laughs> Yin Yang, eh? You're right, man, that's it. <laughs> Yeah. You see, actually, I do not teach, you know, karate because I do not believe in styles anymore. I mean, I do not believe that there is such thing as like Chinese way of fighting or, or, or the Japanese way of fighting or whatever way of fighting. Because unless human beings have three arms and four legs, we will have a different form of fighting. Mm -hmm. But basically, we have only two hands and two feet. So styles tends to... Uh, 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 not only separate man, you know, because they have their own doctrines and then the doctrine became the gospel truth, you know, that you cannot change, you know, and, but if you do not have styles, if you just say, well, here, here I am, you know, as, uh, as a human being, how can I express myself totally and completely? Now, that way, you won't create a style because style is a crystallization, you know, I mean, that way, it's a process of continuing growth. What makes a technique, uh, in my opinion, is the timing, the rhythm, okay? Uh, your personal attributes, like your agility, uh, your balance, your coordination, dexterity, stamina, 
strength for that certain time period. Uh, the technique has to fit the individual. The technique has to fit motion, both your motion and the opponent that you're, that you're flowing with. That's the important part about technique. So attributes, according to Bruce, were probably more important than technique. Developing uh, speed or stamina or strength, those were attributes that you do use in combat. And that's, I think, what he was trying to say there, that you've got to transcend a technique, both physically and mentally. Continue. A good fight should be like a small play, but played seriously. A good martial artist does not become tense, but ready. Not thinking, yet not dreaming. Ready for whatever may come. When the opponent expands, I contract. When he contracts, I expand. And when there is an opportunity, I do not hit. It hits all by itself. Now, you must remember, the enemy has only images and illusions behind which he hides his true motives. Destroy the image and he will break the enemy. The it that you refer to is a powerful weapon easily misused by the martial artist who deserts his fault. Bruce said that to transcend technique, it has to punch, it has to kick. You don't punch, it punches, it kicks, it elbows, it knees, it head smashes, all right? It does everything. It grapples, it locks, it chokes, it strangles. It was the transcending of self. You don't know how you hit. It hit. It hit, hit, hit by itself without even a conscious effort. That's what he's talking about, that the it. So he's transcending the physical. And I think it's in one of his sayings. He says, be like a wooden uh, doll. It has no ego. It just moves like a wooden doll because you move. So he can absorb it. Uh, like he said, you can observe things better from a third person. That's uh, what he's saying. That he sees it from a third person person therefore you can see the openings it you have to be formless as he should tell us and that's like, i think what he's trying to say it it does it because he's no longer in the body that's good i said empty your mind be formless shapeless like water now you put water into a cup it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can slow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Like that, you see? No, I see, I get the idea. Uh -huh. I get the, the power behind it. As I look around, man, I mean, I saw a lot of human beings. And as I look at myself, I was the only robot there because I was not being myself and I'm trying to accumulate external security, external uh, technique, or, or the way to move my arm, the way, but never to ask and say, what Bruce Lee would have done if, the word if such a thing happened to me. When I look around, I always learn something and that is to be always yourself and to express yourself, to have faith in yourself. Do not go out and look for a successful personality and duplicate him. Now, that seems to me that that is the prevalent thing happening in Hong Kong. Like they always copy mannerism, but they never start from the very root of his being, and that is, how can I feed me? There is no such thing as an e effective segment of a totality. No. The important thing is how can we use it to the maximum? Physically, how can I be very so well coordinated? That means you have to be an athlete. That means you gotta have jogging and all this basic in ingredient, right? Now, and after all that, then you ask yourself, how can you honestly express yourself at that moment and being yourself when you punch you really want to punch not you want to punch because trying to avoid not getting hit but to really be in with it and express yourself now that is the out that is to me the most important thing and that is how can i in the process of learning how to use my body to understand myself often time people come up and say hey brutes are you really that good i said well if I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. 
But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> but I right, going back to be truthful with you. Let's just put it this way. I have no fear of opponent in front of me. But I am very self-sufficient that they do not bother me. And that should I fight? Should I do anything? I have made up my mind and that's it, baby. You better kill me before 